Hello, good morning, dear clients. My name is Margaret, and I will be your trainer for today. And I will be talking about the Utak POS software and how it is going to be used in your business. Once you have the Utak POS software downloaded from the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, you will then be needing to log in using the credentials that you have at hand. So today I'll be using the demo account given to me. Okay. All right. So once you enter your username and your password, you'll be able to log in the Utak POS software. So you will have the view firsthand of what available products that you have. So for example, currently we have this list of drinks and the food over here available in this store that I'm in. If you click this uh, right button here, right arrow button here at the top, you will be routed to the register. Okay, so it's showing you hello, and once I register later on, it will be showing the name of the cashier, and I will be portraying myself as the cashier later on. Bottom part are the denominations of the money available so that it will be easy for your cashiers to input the amount given by the customer. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on hello, and I already have registered a while ago. As a cashier, my name is Margaret. So the default passcode is 1000. Okay, so it's I'm already in. So encoding your name and making sure that you're registered is to also ensure that we are able to track the sales on that specific day and we need to know who's accountable for that specific sale. Okay, so going back, we click this left arrow button again. We have here three lines which you can open. You'll be routed to a specific number of options, namely register, orders, transactions, cash drawer, staff, items, inventory, reports, and settings. So once again, we are currently at register. Here, it shows you the number of items that we have available and if ever you're already ready to input the order of the customer, you'll be able to be given options as to if it's a cold or hot Americano and etc. Let's go to punching orders. Okay, so let's say I wanted to order Americano, which is iced, and cafe latte, which is also iced. You can see at the bottom the amount that you will be paying for both products that you have ordered. And there's an arrow here to the right, which will be routing you to, this is the order tray, okay? So this will give you a summary as to what the orders are and also the amount specific to each of the products corresponding. So you can actually have the option as well there are bulk orders you can click on the specific order and enter the quantity if it's 10 you simply need to click the plus button or remove some items over here as well okay all right so let's close this as there were no changes added to the account okay so we are seeing here that the bottom part that the sub subtotal is 195 pesos and let's say i'm going to pay 200 pesos it will show here the cash received from the customer and the change that you're going to give the customer back which is five pesos right so if you're already sure about everything here you simply click on charge 195 pesos and then you are ready to give a receipt to the customer by simply printing the receipt and if the customer is asking for a, a print of the receipt you can simply enter their email address over here and then click email receipt okay
And then if you're ready for a new sale, just simply click on new sale over here. So we also accept non-cash payments such as Gcash. And we have that available here in under service. Okay. So um, for this part, change this specific tab is for cash payments. For non-cash payments, you go directly to service and you have a specific portion over there where you can type in the reference code of the Gcash payment if the customer did use Gcash for paying the products that were bought from the store. So let's say the reference number is 555935. And once you're done with that, click on Gcash, then it will record the customer's payment through Gcash through that button. Okay, so now we've recorded and it's already successfully um, recorded in the Utak POS software. Once again, if the customer wishes to have a copy of the receipt, ask for the email address over here and click email receipt. Or if the customer wants just the receipt, the copy itself just print receipt right away and then you're ready for a new sale if we wish to monitor the cash flow we can go to the three lines over here and go to the cash drawer right so what we here see in the example is that we have the starting cash which is 1000 pesos and this is most likely the loose change uh, and the money that was accumulated before operating that specific day so here we have 1000 as the starting cash and the cash added cash added means it's going to be the amount prepared as loose change that will be used within the day in case it's needed and the expenses, um, if you scroll down further from the Android app, you can see here a portion where it says add expense. You will describe what was bought, how much is it, and click the word add. Okay. Then after adding that, it will be placed here as an amount. So it will total the amount that you have spent for expenses, right? So going down, we have the cash sale since. So this specific amount here will be showing you the cash sales since the time of the opening of the store. Okay. So let's say the whole amount that I have received from the customers for the two products they have paid so far is 195. And it will be shown here in the cash drawer under cash sales since it will also show how much i paid through gcash so here it has specified that for gcash i have also received the same amount which is 195 pesos and it has been totaled with the rest of the amounts from the starting cash the cash added the expenses the cash sales since and the gcash all in all is totaled under the cash in drawer, which is 1,695 pesos. So we'll be um, showing two specific situations right now, and we will see how the process will go while using the Utak POS software. So let's go back to the register. All right. And then the customer will be ordering sea salt latte one hot and one iced and the cash given is 270 pesos all right so sea salt latte one hot and sea salt latte one iced all right 250 pesos total so we go to the order tray we have here 125 for the sea salt latte which is hot 125 for the iced and the amount that we received is 270 pesos. So let's say we received 250 and a 20. So the cash received is 200, 
70 pesos. So we have a, a change to give to the customer, which is 20 pesos. And then we go ahead, charge the customer. Let's say it was paid through cash. Yeah, the scenario is ch um, cash. We charge the customer 250 pesos and voila, we have the receipt ready to be printed and ready to be emailed to the customer. Don't forget to ask if the customer wishes to have an, a receipt emailed to her. Simply add the email address over here and then click the email receipt. And if the customer um, wishes to have a physical copy of the receipt, simply print receipt and then you're ready for a new sale. So new sale, let's have another scenario. The customer orders 10 times dirty matcha. Let's look for dirty matcha over here, which is here. The customer did not really specify as to whether it's hot or cold. Okay, let's just pretend the customer wa um, wanted to have iced dirty matcha. Okay, that's 115. Now, the customer is ordering bulk order of 10. And we cannot have that adjusted in this specific um, portion of the software. So we need to add to edit that later on. So, and two times hot Spanish latte. Spanish latte hot. Okay, hot. Okay, so we go to the order tray and then edit the dirty matcha ice. Click on that order and add 9 items so it reaches 10. Add. All right. So we have the correct number of amount already for the dirty matcha. And now the customer decides to remove the latter order. And that is the Spanish latte. So that's going to be simply clicking on the order. And clicking on remove item over here at the bottom. Right. So we now see in the order tray that only the dirty matcha is left. So subtotal is 1,150 pesos. Right. And the payment is in GCash with its reference number. So remember when you use a GCash amount, we go to service. We record the reference number over here. Uh, let's say 555-955 and click on Gcash. All right. So we now have recorded the sale for today of 1,150 pesos worth of dirty matcha. And once again, don't forget to ask for the email address in case the customer needs to have a copy emailed to them and print the receipt for the customer to have a physical copy of the receipt. So today I have discussed to you how to use the specific buttons available here in the Utak POS software um, using the dummy account given by the training department. And I have also um, showed to you how the cash drawer works from the starting cash, cash added, what they are, and the expenses, cash sale sins cash and drawer and how the expenses section work so i hope i was able to satisfy your craving for learning today through the discussion on utak pos software and i hope to see you again on our training session and i hope you will enjoy our software and don't forget to give us feedback if ever you have any difficulties encountered while using the app because it's going to be very valuable to our company. Once again, this is Margaret, and I am from the training department, and I hope everyone enjoys the rest of the day.